Hello everybody, today is, what is today? Huh? I don't even know. It's the 13th of July. It's Wednesday, it is 9.32 a.m. and it's 82. And I am really late for doing what I needed to do. I wanna explain some stuff. I wanna apologize for not coming back online. When I got off line last night, I went and took a shower and I had a phone call and then I went to go try to put Hercules to bed. Well, if you know anything about Hercules, and you probably don't know this, he don't go to bed until I go to bed. So I lay down there with him thinking, well, he'd go to sleep and I can get back up and no, it don't work like that. Hercules was on 10 for about 15 minutes, then he wind down. I went and lay down with him and I fell asleep. True. <laughs> I fell asleep and I woke up around two. I was wide awake at two and he was dead to the world. But two's not a good time to be playing music on my porch. Okay. So I didn't get to do it. I do apologize. I will go on live tonight. Um, you know, I want to discuss something that rarely is spoken and but everybody has its vulnerabilities. I'm you know I get on, in my real life, I'm a very, you know, I, I pretend like I don't, I give no Fs about anybody or anything. I don't care. And I don't care what people think. And I don't care how, well, obviously, I must care. Because for so long, I never let you see the real Pam. <laughs> you know, I felt vulnerable to, like, you know, criticism. And you know how people can be. And, you know, although I am really not anybody to... I'm nobody on, on the scale of anybody on YouTube. I'm in the nobody section. That's okay. I like that place. Um, but it's okay to be vulnerable. And it's okay to to show your vulnerabilities. You know, because we all have them. The thing is, the thing about being vulnerable and... And, and, and sharing them or even showing our vulnerabilities and, you know, what makes us feel a certain way or how we start to feel a certain way is that the shame that goes behind it. You know, we're all supposed to be these super women and we're supposed to be, I don't care, I can be this way or I'm that way and I don't care. But everybody cares a little bit, just a little bit. Now, be honest, my weight doesn't particularly bother me until I know I can't. You know, when I, I find that, man, if I do this, I can't do it as well because I I can't keep up. I don't have the same stamina I had when I was 50 as when I am 60. I don't have that stamina. And I'm sure a lot of that does have to go off 
people in the back that didn't hear what I was talking about or, you know, maybe didn't care or maybe, you know, just would just listen to this in the car and just say, oh, that Pam, she's going on about something. Um, I, I'm serious. I need to get some focus and direction in my life, be it by my eating habits or by doing something, cleaning, um, is something that leads me into where I have goals. I am a woman without goals, and I am. And I, I mean, and I think because for so long, you know, at least 12 months of my life, my goal every morning was to get up and do one thing and pray for the best for the whole day. And every day I did that. And I didn't plan anything. I didn't really go anywhere. I didn't leave the house too much in the last you know, maybe three month period of uh, November through February, I didn't go in very many places. Um, my life is probably put on, on, on hold. And so coming off of that, it, where I know I have choices, but I don't feel that I have a dog now, but I can't leave the phone by her.
but it was not the time to go on and make a video with the music. Um, I will go on later. I will go on later on tonight, and you know, I don't know if I'll just probably I probably just do talking, and if people want to hear music, I'll do that too. Um, I'll just be prepared more on the porch because I know, like, in the next few days when my brother's there, I won't go online. Um, I only do it when he's not there. And uh, again, like I said, in my room. I could always go on my phone, but it's not as comfortable, and nah, I do it where I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable on the porch, and it's, you know, excuse me. So, anyways, I'll be talking to you again, and leave a comment. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.